That's a team. That's the first time I've seen that team. Yeah. Joker Piranha Plants. The two DLC. It's going to be interesting to see most definitely. We'll see how it works. So going into this right now, we've already seen how Joker can play in dubs today multiple times. And we know how good it is. How do you think Piranha Plant fares in dubs? Shoot. Um, honestly, if if their opponent, or sorry, if their teammate can uh, get the opponent in the air for them, I know typically they the Piranha Plant likes the opponents above them. Um, however, I don't know. That That's more so a singles thing that I know. I'm not entirely sure how they fare in doubles. You don't see it all. What What's different here is they got the they got to focus on the Kirby, and that's why that's something where like you would think, oh, Kirby's not that good of a character. As its first stock goes to Jazz against, uh, I actually don't. Uh, that's actually Chocolate Jesus in the Dark Samus, and there goes Tape. Actually losing weight. Tape was on his last stop. Wow, just but noticing that. Here's the here's the thing. Kirby's actually pretty dangerous off stage. That down air can spike so easily that you have to be very careful with how you're coming back to stage. Oh yeah, and even, right now, even one of those hits can send you in a bad spot. Just timing out the Rebels guard with that forward smash. Trying to get our Sen out as much as they can, but tape on their last stock. Chocolate Jesus with a couple more stock. There's actually one more stock ahead. 77% though. Dangerous position. That actually, that ball is so dangerous, that spike ball, because you can just hit Piranha Plant out of it, and you'll actually get Absolutely. hit by the spike yes. ball falling. Yeah, for, for a while, I know I got caught with that a lot, playing uh, my friend who played him a lot. Oh yeah, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely a good tool to catch your opponent off guard if, they're, if they don't know about it. And Jazz had Arsen, I was going to say has, but actually ended up just dying right there. So right now, this is a really good job coming back a little bit from Chocolate Jesus and Tape here. As I say that, Chocolate Jesus losing his last stock and Tape at 118. Wow, good, nice spacing there, avoiding the spike ball. And not that spike time. Ball. No, not that time. And now it is once again a 2v1. In this situation, and these are two characters I would not want to face in a two v one right now. See, not oh, a lot of interesting, not a lot of team synergy. There could have been an option right. of throwing him into Joker and the Arsene there, but instead deciding to throw it off and keep stage control as much as possible, which is also a fair option. Both those sending the Jazz off stage. Forward smash. smash, not gonna kill just yet. Getting back to the stage is Jesus. And right now, Jazz and Lim, Lim doing a really good job of just keeping uh, Chocolate Jesus off stage and just constant pressure. Keeping firm stage control this whole time. Air away That's from right. the spike ball. Trying to limit options as often and as much as they can. And they seem to be doing a very good job. At 186%. And that's going to do it. The free fall of that. He wanted to try and drift away a little more and possibly grab onto ledge while he still could. But just missed it. And that's going to actually cost him the game with that forward smash. And now it is 1-0 to Jazz and Lean. We saw, we saw good play coming out from the Joker right there. He was doing everything that he needed to do. And the Piranha play was kind of more safely sitting off stage. We know that Joker is the more offensive character. We know that Joker can punish a lot more at the ledge. So Kind of just letting them do their thing. But now we're having to see a change in the play style of both Chocolate Jesus and Tape right there. We saw Tape die pretty early on. And who knows, maybe Kirby isn't the right pick here. Like, against those kind of characters, it's hard to get any offense in as Kirby. Yes, the edge guarding game is a little better, but you gotta focus on a little more stuff. Like, you, the edge guarding game is good, but first you gotta focus on getting them off stage. Exactly. And it looks like they're, uh, looks like they're sticking with the same characters here going into. Game two. Not entirely sure what stage they picked. We'll see in a second. Three, two, Going to one, Smashville go. for game two right here. Chocolate Jesus and Tape down 1-0. Need to try and find a way to limit Leem and Jazz's offense and start this stage control themselves right now. But actually just hitting each other in the process and actually an SD coming out already from you Tape. And we're not even, we were just 15 seconds into the match. So already putting them at a disadvantage. Man, they gotta keep their heads up though. Absolutely. Jazz are coming with the grappling hook. Throw combos coming out. 
from uh, Chocolate Jesus, but just gets hit out of them. That up tilt there. not gonna kill just yet. That oh, bow the smash team will do kill. It. It's unfortunate. The, the team kill forward smash coming out from Dazzler actually ended Leem on the recovery. No throw actually able to mash out. Forward smash and killing tape. Up. And forward smash killing Chocolate Jesus. Wow. Tape on their last song already. Jazz hasn't lost a single stock yet. Yeah, Jazz and Liam are looking like they're in a pretty good spot. Decent this, lead. There's that forward air actually taking uh, Jazz's first stock. And right now, we know that Piranha Plant can actually go really far off stage. And there's that spike ball, as I was talking about, hitting him out of the spike ball animation will actually. You'll take a spike ball to the face. Right. If you're not careful enough. Chocolate Juice is really going for that up B in neutral, uh, actually. Trying to get something out of it, but actually putting it more in the negative than anything. Getting the super armor off with that down B is Leem. The counter coming out. Good Chocolate Jesus in a bad situation. Not able to get the tether. And there goes Tape. And Chocolate Jesus is now once again left alone. Jazz on now on his last stock also. And Leem at a pretty high percent himself. Leem once again just gonna let just gonna sit back a little bit, let Joker do his thing, let Joker be the one to guard a little more. But Chocolate Jesus realizes that Leem is the one in a high percent, realizes this is his chance to really take control possibly. Good down be there. Oh my gosh, going for that Rebels Guard twice, making sure he doesn't want to get hit. If he does, he wants to benefit from it. See, this, this is the concept now of Joker getting more meter every time their uh, partner gets hit. He was able to get Arsene pretty quickly now, but Jazz at 103% and recovering super high. That could have been super punishable if not. Oh man. Ooh, that was a weak hit. There's oh, that spike. The spike. Could this, com could this comeback happen? It absolutely could right now. Lima has a little better percentage, but Jungle G is starting to take it to him. Leem's got to play something here. Just got to got to watch out for that down air. Got to watch out for that spike. But this is the thing now. Dark Samus can really range out and space out uh, the Piranha Plant a yeah, lot here. They can take their time. Piranha I mean, seems like they've got to figure it out right now. Yeah. Piranha Plant has to be the one to attack here. Has That's to right. be the one to approach. That down B getting shielded by Chocolate Jesus, getting the parry on the spike ball, trying to get some sort of roll with that forward smash. Gets the, <gasps> the charge shot. Oh, not gonna not kill quite just doing yet. It. Gonna able to recover, but that up tilt gonna take should it. Should do it, what a comeback. Good stuff there. Just overall solid play. Just keeping your composure and just finding the faults uh, in your opponent's play. Yeah. That's how you do it. Very good 2v1 comeback right there coming out. And now we're gonna see in this game three what they can, what what do they got to change now? What did you see in that two v one that that cost them there? Man, I don't know. I, f I feel like I feel like they needed to have each other's back a little bit more, and I feel like that's what kind of led up and uh, gave uh, Chocolate Jesus the upper hand. Mm. I completely agree. I feel like the Piranha Plant, especially towards that beginning was sitting back more and they, they could do that because of the fact that they were uh, just the Joker is much better at edge guarding the Joker is much better at ledge compared to Piranha Plant but even something like the poison smoke could actually work in Joker's benefit because he's true. still getting that Arsene, uh, that Arsene right there with it and it's just dealing even more damage so if Joker can trap them on the ledge in that 2v1 situation that poison smoke could actually help a little bit it's it, you just gotta pull out something instead of just sitting back and watching your opponent. Oh, your opponent, the rest. That's right. Of but right now, getting into this game three right here, and we're seeing just these teams going back and forth trading blows. And there goes the first stock. Jazz actually losing it. Jazz's uh, meter for Rebels guard goes far down, but it's right back up with that charge shot. Plus, all the damage being taken to Leem right now is going straight into that meter. And Tape and, tra uh, Tape and Chocolate Jesus doing a very good oh, job. Oh, the, the dash attack right there. Leem with not the best DI. Back though, coming out from Chocolate Jesus. Forward air. Gonna have to recover. Recovers high a little bit. 
but able to drift right back to the ledge. You know what I noticed there is that, um... Oh, Leem, that's an SD on tape's part. I noticed that uh, both Leem and Chocolate Jesus were both keeping each like each other's opponents off stage when one and one or the other maybe could have went and yeah. helped their teammate get yep. back because they were both struggling. The uppy catching Jazz right there, but Jazz now has our send, and this is going to be something. Actually, doesn't have it yet. Needs to get a free animation. There it is. That forward smash is coming right out, sending tape far off. Dash tech sending Chocolate Jesus far off, and tape doing good to control the ledge against uh, Leem right here. And there goes Jazz, and now it's a 2v1. Actually, no, now it's a, it is a 2v1. Wow. Yep, it's a 2v1, but now in the opposite favor. Tape decided not to take the extra stock. Wow, the same situation for the third time. We'll see We'll see if Chocolate Jesus... Originally, it was a 2v1 for blue team. But, oh, that's right. But uh, Jazz ended up taking one of Leem's stocks, and Leem now on his last stock at 139. And I, I think that was a great play, actually, from them, because not only down do they have the 2v1 advantage again, if the Piranha Plant dies, the Joker's actually going to fare a lot better compared to the uh, with the Dark Samus compared to what Piranha Plant would. Joker can actually get in a lot easier on Dark Samus than Piranha Plant can. So that was actually a very good play now, but the number one thing right now is uh, Chocolate Jesus wants to focus on Jazz, uh, or actually, I would focus on Lean right now at the 161%, get him out of here while you still can, and then start right. focusing on only. But you need to watch out for something like that. He's baiting Absolutely. the counter every single time. So you realize, though, he couldn't do that charge shot or anything. And that's it for Lean. We'll see what happens here. Rebels Guard has a charge shot ready. And there, lets it loose right there. 105%. Oh, the, oh no good tech. back in there. That's it. No tech coming out. Wow. And that's going to do it. That was some very good play by Chocolate Jesus, I got to say. And that is now 2-1 to one going to Chocolate Jesus and Tape moving on. Coming back from 2v1 situations twice there. Yeah. Now those, those are hard to come back from, but it looks like if you keep your composure, you can do it. Yep. Yeah. And uh, guys, that's actually going to be it for us here on VG Bootcamp. We're going to be switching over, switching some commentary, but we're going to get right back at to you with top eight doubles at Smash Delphia. That's right. I've been Drex. This has been Nintendo. We'll see you guys in a little bit. What's up guys, Gimmer here. VG Bootcamp has an amazing variety of emotes that can enhance the way you chat and make your overall Twitch experience even more enjoyable. We've added two new emotes and an emote set. We have VGBCS, which shows a nervous Krom as he's prone to getting easily edgeguarded, and VGBC LOL, which represents Wario laughing his butt off. Who doesn't love that? My personal favorite so far is our VGBC Shrug emote set. VGBC Shrug 1, 2, and 3 show Incineroar doing his now infamous Shrug pose when his Alolan Whip misses. We have a few more emote slots left to fill. Stay tuned for those, and subscribe now on Twitch to get access to all of these awesome emotes. If you don't have the money, consider subscribing with Twitch Prime by linking your Amazon Prime account to Twitch. This gives you one free monthly sub which you can use to support VG Bootcamp. The best part is you can sign up for a free trial and still give us the Twitch Prime sub. So, if you have that Twitch Prime subscription available, please consider using it to support VG Bootcamp. See you on the flip side.
Rated everyone 10 and up. Well, my boy, that wretched eagle seized your owl friend. Take this enchanted falconry glove and good luck. Only you can save Ichiro from Armora. Explore the island of Yulu with Quill and his owl companion, Koji. Master the elemental totem feathers. Fire, lightning, ice. Test your will against the island's dangerous wildlife. Customize abilities with magical runes. Brave your way through millions of levels. Your journey begins on Eagle Island. Cast off for an adventure, July 11th. Yo, what's up guys? PK Sparks here. I am here with the wonderful Hangman from New York. Welcome to the upper bracket here at Smash Adelphia for doubles. And I am excited to be bringing you guys these matches. It's going to be a lot of fun, PK. Thank you for tapping me out for too many games. Smash Adelphia looks great so far. Thank doubles you. is looking kind of fun. We're going into that top end of bracket so far. We got a couple of matches before we get to the top eight, though. And looking at what we have ahead, 
what kind of characters have you been seeing today so far? Um, definitely saw Plant play. I don't know if he's plant? if I ever see a Plant, I'm definitely going to have Plant my eyes Gang. Oh, Plant Gang came through. Plant Gang. Plant Gang came through. That was a really interesting Plant Gang as well. Oh uh, well, Plant Plant Plant. But um, one of the most thorough mat, uh, competitor we saw was definitely um, the Inkling. It was 6WX and Uno. I believe, Ooh, I believe okay. it was, um, I, I, I forget exactly who, but I know Inkling was there, but those two have been coming through. And then when I managed to catch my eye, you know, when I wasn't um, handling things on the back end, was definitely um, Falco and just down tilting and tilt combos, and that was, yes. that was pretty crazy. So I know as far as Six and Uno goes, they've been a static team for forever. I mean, they're brothers. And they make teams look good. I'm yeah. curious to see who Six picks, because I know, of course, he's well-known for his Sonic. He's been sort of dabbling across the cast. I've heard he's been sticking more towards Joker recently. Okay. And I think Joker and Inkling covers everything in doubles. I think it's a phenomenal team. I really hope to see them go far. Um, you mentioned Falco. Yeah. Um, and I know we have Beast and Juice in teams together. So most likely Falco belonging to them. That's going to be a diabolical duo. I would not be surprised to see them in some end of grands. Uh, I know New England is here. Like you think I'm invading from New York, they're invading all the way from New England. Nah, there's no invasion here. This is Tri-State, but this is welcome to everybody. So we got New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, a.k.a. Philly. We have Connecticut. We have um, NBDA. So many people came through for Smash Adelphia 2019. And let me just tell you that this year, Smash Adelphia 2019 is the largest Smash Adelphia event ever. So thank you to everybody who has been supporting us. But we're going to be moving forward right now.